If you want to support the predator poachers catching the sickest both near and far, go to the pinned comment. If you're on Rumble, press the red join button to see over 30 videos early and uncensored for only $10 a month. We can't do this without your help, so join our locals. This channel is a group of investigative journalists who make educational documentaries showcasing and educating society, especially parents and legal guardians, about potential scenarios that result from young people and adults conversating online if left unchecked. We conduct thorough interviews with consenting adults in an attempt to understand their perspective on why they partake in these conversations online with people that are not of age. The goal of the interviews in these videos and the videos themselves is to gain an understanding of the perspective of the individual being interviewed so parents and the rest of society can be educated and aware of potential thought processes and desires of adults online to unsupervised persons not of age. These videos are not to cyberbully, harass, degrade, accuse, or threaten any individuals partaking in the interview process or in the video itself. We do not condone any of these actions. These videos are strictly educational and we grant full permission for academia, which is any classroom setting or in scholarly papers to show or cite our videos. To ensure that these videos are strictly used for educational purposes, we strictly adhere to YouTube's community guidelines, such as not revealing someone's personally identifiable information. In other words, PII. YouTube defines personally identifiable information as their home address, email addresses, signing credentials, phone numbers, passport number, medical records, or bank account information. We thoroughly look at and edit our videos to ensure that none of this information about any individual is shown in our videos. To ensure extra privacy for each person that is a subject of an interview in any of our videos, as of September 1st, 2022, to thoroughly comply with YouTube's harassment and bullying policy, there will be no mention or information about the last name or first name of any person interviewed in our videos. Due to potentially illegal activities discussed in our videos, law enforcement in the respective jurisdiction we conduct these interviews in is notified of each interview and video filmed by us. We are not accusing any individual interviewed of being guilty or committing a crime. That is the job of law enforcement. We are not vigilantes and we do not condone vigilantism or vigilante behavior, such as taking the law into your own hand or not notifying law enforcement when a suspected crime takes place. We are investigative journalists. Trigger warning. Some of what can be discussed in these videos can be sensitive to some, emotional or stressful. The only goal of these videos is to educate the public. At the end of each video, as of September 1st, 2022, there will be an educational portion at the end to discuss what was talked about in the video and to discuss what people can take from that video and learn from and tell others about. Our goal here is to bring awareness and educate the public. Now the video will start. How's it going, Jay? I uh, just want to talk over here, if you don't mind. Yeah, I know you're not a bad dude. We're just going to have these messages here, okay? Okay. Do you mind if I light a cigarette? Please, are you going to reach for your car or anything? No, I, I just like cigarette. Okay. Mind if I'm like right next to you just for safety? That's fine. Thank you. Yeah. Beautiful car, man. I love Volkswagens. Yeah, thank you. There you go, there you go. Yeah, okay. Let's just, for safety, let's just go by the playground. If anybody comes along, it'll change the subject of what we're talking about, okay? Okay. Don't to talk to me, but I think we should. We do have a lot of things to talk to you about it, all right? Sure. Here, let me just tap that out there. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right. Yes, sir. Oh, I'm just putting it up while we talk, please. Sorry? Can you put the phone up while we talk? Put the phone... Okay, all right. Hey, man, can you just put the phone up, please? Oh? Yeah, just put it up. Mm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, my name is Gordon. Yeah, Sorry hi, to meet Gordon. you like this. Yeah, I know. What do you do for work? I'm just curious. I work for a paint manufacturing company. Okay, well, thanks for what you do. You know, my yeah. mom's actually an art major. Um, yeah, so. okay. I guess that's kind of similar. Are you artistic at all, or mm -hmm. no? You just work for. A, how long you been working there for? Not even a year yet. Okay. Fair yeah. Enough. Just kind of go from job to job. Well, I try not to. Yeah, I it's try to happen. I try to stay. No, it's tough nowadays. Yeah. I get it. I get yeah. it. Do you live with anybody, or you just, just myself? Okay. How long you been up in MSP for? Are you from here? I am. Okay. okay. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I'm kind of new to the area. I've only been here a couple of years. You can tell I'm probably not from here, from you know how I talk. But yeah. I love it up here. I love the weather. People are super nice too. Yeah. Great food and great yeah. ethnicities and all that stuff. Yeah. But 
Um, I do want to kind of talk about Julie and all that stuff. I know you're a good dude and, you know, I just want to get it settled here. I'm not trying to do anything here. I, I'm happy to just go. I don't want to be in any trouble here. Oh, no, I'm not here for that. But okay. I think with a good conversation, we can get it resolved. Let's okay. just talk. Okay. Um, let's just see how honest we are before anything. How old is Julie? She told me she was 12. Okay. Well, thanks for your honesty. I yeah. think this will go pretty well. Okay. Um, do you kind of know, like, what I'd be here to talk about with her? I I, I do kind of know what you're going to be here to talk about. Okay. And like I said, I don't want any trouble. This is like a one-off deal for yeah. me. And I I really, I don't want to, I, I really don't want to pursue this. No, I get it. I get so. it. Um, Yeah, no, I think it is a one-off. That's why I just took the time to actually just talk to you about it rather than, you know, try to take a poop on you or anything like that. You okay. know what I mean? Okay. Um, How long have you and Julie been talking for? Just not very long. Really? Yeah, no. Okay. No, not very long at all. Like Fair enough. Three weeks or something. What apps did y'all uh, kind of talk on, or did she talk to you on? Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. Any others? Or no. No. I don't. Well, no. I think we texted a couple times on like Telegram or something, but nothing. It was just like text. Okay. And stuff. So, yeah. You know. Fair. 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 Yeah. Um. So, I mean, you seem honest enough. I think we can kind of cut through all this. Like, I mean, I have the chats here and everything, but I'll be willing to put these away since you're being honest with it. Yeah. Um, I don't think I don't think a lot of people would kind of be as honest as you are and be willing to get this address like you do. So I do appreciate that, man. You are a good person, I can tell. Yeah, I try to be. Do you have any kids of your own? Or? I, well, I do, but I don't live with them, and they're older. No, no, I wasn't asking. I was just curious about yeah, that. Yeah, they're older. You divorced? They're, I'm or? actually a grandparent. Oh, nice. <laughs> so, well, congrats. Yeah. Grandparent as of when? Uh, eight or nine years ago. Really? I don't really talk to my daughter all that much. Fair enough. Yeah, because I don't get along with that side of the family. Why's that? The mom and I. Kind of had a bad riff. Yeah, the parents, yeah, yeah the divorce yeah. and all that stuff. Devastating, was, yeah. Was good. Yeah. Yeah. Why? I mean, dude, you seem like a very nice, agreeable guy. Why Why, why would a divorce happen with you? I didn't get along with her. She really? was like having f with all my friends and oh, all this well, stuff. Oh, okay, that I, makes sense. I couldn't live with that, you know. So yeah. I'm divorced twice, actually. I was married not too long ago, actually, to Jenny, uh, but I divorced her, too, so... You know, that was back in 2012. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Got it. So, so you got the rock star attitude, bunch I, of bunch of wives, earrings, but just not the rock star job. I, I divorced. Yeah, I divorced her in 2014. So, Jeez. So you've yeah. just kind of been single since then. Yeah, I am. What brought you to Instagram? I'm just, I don't know, man. I'm just kind of messing around, you know. Yeah. I mean, just bored just, and just shit. Bored and yeah, shit yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, because I don't really go out and do much. You right. Know? So, right. I mean, I don't know. Well, I gotta ask, like. How the conversation, you know, I'm a college dropout, I'm sure, as you probably are too. I, mean, you know, I never went to college. I'm a high school dropout. Okay, I well. I got my GED, but I went to uh, Minneapolis Community College okay. for a couple of years. So you wasted even less time than I did in school. Or, so, I mean, I mean it's, just, it's, yeah. all, it's, all, it's all a scam. But yeah. um, I don't like to read too much. I mean, obviously, I got the whole gist. Like, I obviously saw she was 12. I saw some shit was sad, but I didn't read the whole thing. How how'd the conversation kind of go with her? It just, I don't know. It just kind of went on, you know? I mean, I don't i don't really know, you know? It just kind of happened. Yeah, and it's then, just kind of spontaneous. And then she kind of said, oh, do you want to come over? My mom's going to be gone. And I said, okay, I'll come over, you know? I yeah. mean... What did, uh, well, what, what did she kind of talk about with you and all that stuff? Uh, she just talked about how much she liked me and stuff, you know? Really? And, yeah, you know? And I was like, well, I like you too, you know? She we were telling each other we loved each other, and I do yeah. love her. I mean, she's a nice girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From what I got from the conversations and everything. And no, it definitely didn't seem like... My intentions were not, you know... Yeah, you know? I definitely didn't get the vibe that you were somebody who would be just, you know... She's just not there the next day, you know what I mean? Like, she obviously seemed like it was a safe situation to be in, and, you know, it didn't. It did. It seemed safe, and, you know, I had my reservations, too, but I thought, well, you know, I mean, what, what Right. Know? Well, I, I, meant, I meant with you. I mean, it didn't seem like you were the type to kind of just, like, hurt her in any way or do anything oh, like no, that. Oh, no, 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 absolutely not. No. Right. No, 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 no. No, I would never hurt. I don't, I'm not into hurting people. No, no, I, no. I, I get that vibe so. for sure. Minnesota nice, as they call it. Well, I guess, yeah. Yeah. You know. Um... Well, I, what were some, did the chat ever get like, I mean, I know I'm saying I love you is pretty flirtatious, but did it ever get like kind of risque at all or anything? Well, it, I mean, I guess it did. I mean, you know, we talked about 
she wants to kiss and stuff, you know, and I'm like, yeah, I would like to kiss, you know, That's I mean, okay. whatever. Can't blame you. I mean, you know, whatever. But it, I don't think it would have ever come to that, though, okay. you know, honestly, to be honest. Well, so. What were uh, what else did she kind of talk about, like kissing? and? Other I don't really, you know, I don't really remember. Sure. She's like, she's like, you know, what from what I remember, she just said, you know, can you just do you want to come over? And OK. Said, OK. Yeah. Did it ever get to a point um, where she was like maybe overstepping some lines or being like a little bit at all or she was being a little but not overly you know okay. and like it was like i'm gonna tomorrow no, or anything. Okay. no it was nothing like that that what what did she uh what kind of shit does she kind of talk about with you um like i'm i'm in the camp that it takes two to tango she like she just said you know she would like to kiss she wanted to kiss and then she said well and i said you know i said okay and, she said maybe more you know and i said okay maybe more i don't know kind of go with the flow just yeah. kind of going yeah, with the flow sense. i wasn't yeah and i told but i told her i wouldn't pressure her into doing yeah that, that's it that's any, a huge any, thing anything, yeah absolutely you know? i'm not going to pressure anyone fair, fair enough anything. yeah did she uh, bring up stuff like you know maybe just or like well, or well we kind of did yeah a little bit you know but it wasn't like i said it was more playful than anything like mm -hmm. i said i never thought anything would ever come of it right to be honest right did uh oh, is did, that a beat i don't know oh, sorry <laughs> no, you're okay did she ever uh send you like any or anything no 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 okay no did did it maybe go from you to her like showing your at all and i don't care my guy i mean I, I do it too to chicks but i i did show her Okay. I did show her, but I never sent any pictures or anything. It was more just showing her on a video call or something yeah. like that. Okay. Yeah. She wanted to see it. Got it. I got to ask, I mean, you're a, how many kids do you have? Two. Two? So yeah. a daughter and a son or daughter yeah, and a daughter? Yeah, daughter and a son. There you go. Yeah. Um, so I assume your daughter has the uh, grandkid? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, my son does not. Got it. Yeah. How? So how common is it for, because I mean, like I said, the messages I did read with Julie, I mean, look, I'd say it takes two to tango. It wasn't even, it wasn't all you one way. It wasn't all her one way. It seemed like it was kind of mutual from what I understood. Um, how common is it for people her age to just kind of be online like this, just chatting guys up? I think it's kind of common. I mean, I don't run into them, but there's, you, you'd be surprised at how many girls out there are like that. You know, they're, mm -hmm. they're really oriented and stuff you know and that's kind of what made me kind of stay on I'm like what the hell's going on here right just checking it out yeah i just kind of just kind of got sucked into it a little bit a little bit yeah, yeah you know because i was wondering um shoot because there there was something like i guess online like what age ranges have you heard about kind of being so forward forwardly how low does it go like i mean obviously like two-year-olds aren't being this way but i don't know i'm guess from my experience, yeah, usually good. 14 and up. 14 and up. Yeah, just, usually. What platforms do they kind of express their on? Well, I've only been on Instagram, really. Really? Yeah. I mean, so I guess that's, I mean, I'm not on Facebook or anything. And quite honestly, I don't even really like social media, you know, to be mm -hmm. honest. I'm not on social media all that much. You right. Know? So there was some, there was something um, about, like, I was, I was shocked she would even you know take this take this step but um that uh that 13 year old that you said was like like how in the hell did she even get to that point oh on instagram that yeah, was, yeah that was an well i don't know if how old she was to be honest well we we Wait. uh we, we did see those chats where she identified herself as 13 but okay yeah. okay okay but yeah, how I did mean, she even get to that point i get i don't even know she just did it I guess. I don't know. I and mean, so she sent you a, uh, and again, like it, it doesn't matter. I mean, obviously you weren't, you didn't have a gun to her head or anything. <laughs> like you weren't like blackmailing or no, you know, that's it. No, 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 no. But yeah, I like, I was just more taken aback about how like a girl would be so brazen to even entertain this stuff. Yeah. I mean, I get they're out there. Yeah. How did, how did this 13 year old get to a point where she was just kind of herself for you? Like, I mean, or I don't know if she did it for me. Uh huh. Or if she just did it and then just sent videos out to oh, really? people. Right. It wasn't necessarily for me. Oh, like per so, se. she wasn't like saying your name in the video or anything like that? No, okay. no. She just kind of did it, you know? What was the uh, context? Like, did she tell you this is... Oh, oh you're, you're good, man. Did she tell you, like, this is for you only? Or did she just kind of send it? Or 
No, nothing like that from what I remember. She just kind of sent it. Jesus. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I didn't ever see her face or anything. I don't even know if it was really her. It could have been just someone random that she had a video of or something. Uh -huh. I mean, well, I mean, I'm talking about the, uh, well, I'm talking about the, the video that was sent to Julie, like of that 13 year old, like, I mean, I think that was sent on that, a uh, Telegard. Telegard. Telegard, yeah. yeah. When did you hear? Because that's, that's when she sent it to me. Because she told me, do you have Telegard? She oh, goes, really? I'll talk to you on Telegard. That's how I who, found it. Who introduced you to Telegard? She did. Oh, really? Yeah. So it wasn't even like you. It was like you found out about this from somebody that young. Yeah. Yeah. Where are her parents? I don't know. She said she was in the UK. Oh, really? Yeah. What was her name? I don't even know. Her I'd have name? to go back in the chats and check. I don't even know. So she was just, so she, she just kind of skipped all the, you know, skipped all the, uh, I guess, I don't know, I guess the icebreakers and just kind of jumped right into it. Yeah. What? I mean, basically, right. Yeah. Well, that's, that's insane how girls can be like that. I mean, Julie looks like a prude compared to her. So, <laughs> yeah. I mean, like I said, yeah. I mean, I don't even really know. That was a, I, I guess, and I'm not trying to like, you know, be overbearing with this. Uh, you know, I'm not trying to say, oh, look at you, but what was kind of a, I guess what was kind of the, um, how do I put it? What, what kind of a, what was the compulsion to kind of send that to Julie, like that video? She, I think she asked me, do any other girls my age do this or do this stuff or something? That's, I think that's how it started. And I said, well, do, do, cool. uh, sorry, pretend I'm retarded. Do what stuff? Does, uh, She's like, do any other girl do any, do, do girls my age send or oh, really? something or okay. whatever? And I said, well, this girl from Instagram sent me this. You Jeez. Know, so okay. Whatever. So so y'all so she so she met you on Instagram and then she she pulled you over to that Telegard thing. Yeah. Jeez. The UK girl. Okay. Yeah. Is a uh, Telegard? Is that kind of a uh, groups or individuals or kind of both? That's a new one to me. I mean, it's I don't know. It's just a it's just an app. It's just a. Yeah. It's it, it's like a messaging app, like Telegram is, okay. or like something like that. You know, right, right. So or WhatsApp or something, or it's kind of like that. It's a texting, mm -hmm. texting app. Do you talk to a mostly? Uh... I don't really talk to anybody. Julie is mm -hmm. the one that I've been talking. No, to. I know, I know you're not swimming in here, but no. um, <laughs> but I mean, like on a say like Telegard, is it mostly adults that talk to you or mostly younger ladies? I'm not on Telegard. I was on Telegard for that girl because she told me to go on Telegard. No, no, I, I get that. Yeah. But I mean, I think Julie was talking to you on Telegard too. For a little bit, but then I was like, well, I was like, this is dumb. I said, so just let's stop. Okay. You know? So I deleted the app and she's like, where did your app go? And I said, I deleted it because I don't need it. I right. Mean, you know, I, why do I use this app for? Yeah. Fair enough. Know? Fair enough. So, um, I, I guess, uh, you know, it kind of seems like, cause obviously you're not, you're not somebody who is out there hurt, there to hurt anybody. Like, I don't think Julie's going to be harmed, you know, say anything, say y'all were to make contact with each other, whatever. I don't think any harm is going to come away or anything like that. Like you're definitely, no, uh, no, no, I don't want to hurt anybody. No, no, definitely not. And I, I am mean, a free base. <laughs> you are. I am. So, you, so this is embarrassing enough because, you know, I mean, my brothers are like, you know, what? So, so is, is that the thing? I do no harm, right? Or yeah, no, absolutely. No yeah. It's a, yeah. I mean, it's part of our oath that we take right. like, when we're raised as master masons. You are, are you a 33rd degree? Just blue latch. So that's the first step before you go into Scottish, right? Okay. Or York, right? Uh, you have to go through Blue Lodge, or before you become a Shriner, you have to go through Blue Lodge. So you're not like the typical, like, uh, how do I put it? You're not the typical, just like, you know, the ones that drink beer, or I guess you'll do the ones that like congregate every week and just kind of like, you know, hang out. You're like a step above, or no, I just it's you know, it's one of those things. I don't even really go to Lodge that much, but, yeah, you know, because there isn't a whole lot going on at lodge, you know, and quite honestly, I work for a living. So most of the time I'm tired and I got to get up early for work and yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? You don't have too much free time to be a Freemason. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So how'd you get initiated into that? My Tai Chi instructor. Really? Brought me in, so, in 2012. Really? Yeah. How, how did he know to kind of, 
It's, it's like an invite only type thing, right? Yeah, How did he know to kind of uh, say, hey, do you want to come join? We got along. Okay. And he was, I was a really diligent student. Got it. And I started my Tai Chi training at a time, pivotal point in my life when a lot of things were not going right. And I had to do something to kind of get myself squared away. And yeah. Tai Chi training was the way. Uh, and then that just kind of progressed into, and I started my Tai Chi training in 2009 mm -hmm. and then studied under him for a few years and then got into extreme masonry after that. So what, what, uh, what benefits has masonry kind of brought to your life, if any? You know, self-satisfaction is one of them, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, an opportunity for growth, if I want to grow yeah, yeah, and go yeah. deeper into the fraternity, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, but other than that, it doesn't, you know, I pay my dues annually. Sure. And that's really, you get the camaraderie. So you yeah, get people, it's a brothership, it's yeah, a of fraternity. Course. So have you ever got like a job opportunities or opportunities because of like fellow I Mason? I wish I had. Really? <laughs> <laughs> no, I no. never have. No. Oh man. Dude. No, I know. So yeah. Well, so you got to pay dues every, every year. Annually. How, how, I got to ask, how much is it? A lot. Now, $150 a year. When I joined, it was $75 a year. Oh, well, So Freemasonry ain't free. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. You got to pay your dues. So who, who's like the, uh, who's like the uh, biggest Mason you know? Like Probably my Tai Chi instructor, Ray. No, no, no. I mean like the... Because he was, uh, he was, when he brought me into Masonry, he was Grand Commander of the Knights Templar. Oh, wow. And so he's like he's like the guy or any like i guess local politicians here like masons or anything that show up or not that i've met oh interesting yeah right. not that i've met i think uh if i'm if i'm not mistaken i think donald trump is like a uh, scottish right or 33rd degree or something like that he may be but i'm not sure yeah i, I guess they wouldn't like tell you guys if he was uh, you don't really it's not something we really talk about right at least not me yeah you know, i don't go around telling people i'm a freemason right you know what i mean right. so because you, you either get a you either get like a uh pat on the shoulder or like a slap in the face it's either or <laughs> you know i mean yeah i but there's good people there yeah absolutely and then but on the other side of that people are people yeah no, there's bad actors that infiltrate like everything. Like, you know, it could right. be, I mean, you hear about like hospitals, like the, the nur nurses who are save lives end up like, you know, patients and, you know, so yeah, I think to just kind of loop all one group as into, oh, they're all this or they're all that, just kind of not fair at all. Yeah. But, um, well, that's, that's interesting. That's cool. I know you're sorry. I know you are a do-gooder then, man. That's awesome. I do my best. Yeah, I exactly. really do. And, you know, kind of my thing is, um, you know, everybody makes mistakes and, you know, I make mistakes. You could, you could probably have papers and talk to me about stuff, vice versa. We're just here in this situation right now, but it's how we address the mistakes that separate us. You know what I mean? It's not just like, you know, cause, know. cause you know, everybody here has made mistakes, but you know, not everybody here kind of takes accountability for them and, you know, takes that step. So I, I do want to ask about the, uh, some, uh, not to be too intrusive, but when's the last time you had any contact with somebody? Years. Okay. It's been years. The last girl I was seeing, I broke up with her, I think two, maybe almost three years ago now. Okay. Because, yeah. you know, obviously context matters with shit. I mean, I like to say, you know, we're, there's a thousand ways you can get into the middle of the desert, a thousand reasons, you know, it's not all the same path. And, you know, we're kind of in the middle of the sand right now, but. But she was a girl I knew from way, way back when I was in high school. Yeah. We reconnected. She's a musician. And that's kind of, we reconnected at a concert. We were both oh, at, yeah. and that's where did you, what, what, what concert? Melvin's. <laughs> Melvin's. Is that a, I've never heard of them. No, it's harder kind of. Okay. So you, you would know, uh, you would know Slayer then, right? Oh, I know Slayer. Yeah. yeah you know, we were actually in a riot fest in Chicago yesterday. Oh, nice. Yeah. So they were performing. He came out of retirement actually. You know, Tom, oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Tom Rea? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. oh, he, he's awesome. He's awesome. Do you mind if I get another cigarette? Dude, please do. Please do. Yeah. 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 I don't want to. Gosh, Jordan, I really don't want to get in trouble here. Dude, uh, like, uh, obviously, like, let's just, I'm, I'm here to just stomp it out, dude. Like, uh, kind of my thing is just to figure out, you know, why it happened, if it'll ever happen again. And obviously, I think, I think the set, I think the second part is pr probably answered at this point, but. Oh, what happened again? You're good, man. I just want to cry. Oh. Are you a Stone Temple Pilots fan at all? I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. No.
damn, okay. Mm. I kind of have a weird call. I got into grunge a little. More of a Nirvana. Nirvana. So you're more, but you're, you're more like heavy metal, I presume. More heavy metal. Okay. Yeah. So do you like uh, Deftones and all that, or? I like Deftones a little bit, but I'm more into like. Um, like really heavy shit. More avant-garde, like Halloween. Okay. Who's been around forever and Creator and stuff like that. Ocean Collective, which is kind of a newer band. Yeah. Uh, out of Germany. Okay. More European stuff. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff. Well, you know, there's a band, uh, they're out of actually Baltimore, but they're called Turnstile. They're not too heavy, but they got some heavy stuff. I mean, it might be a little bit too light for your liking based on what you're telling me, but like, dude, I don't know, they're pretty good. You should check them out. I mean, do you listen to anything but metal or like? I love late 70s and early 80s punk. Yeah. That's kind of what I got me into everything. Okay. And then kind of from there, a the little metal. I don't like all metal. You yeah, know? yeah, I yeah, like yeah. certain bands. Yeah, you know. I, I mean, I know so. this is a cliche one, but you know, I listen to Iron Maiden pretty often. I love Iron Maiden. Yeah, they're good. For sure. They're good. Yeah. You know, I was like, uh, I mean, I, I assume like you don't play video games, or do you play video I games? Don't. Yeah, no. video I haven't game. played video games in years. But when I used to play video games, oh, you know, I was, I was driving and I used to play Madden, like you know, back in 2010 when I was a little bit younger. And I just, you know, I, I was out of songs to listen to on Spotify, so I just typed in Madden 10 playlist, and I was like, damn, all these good songs on here that I haven't heard in years. <laughs> I don't know, but now all the video games are like, and again, I don't play them, but all the video games now are just like the most techno, just stupid stuff. And, you know, it's no, no real appreciation anymore. But, um, so you, you haven't had any contact in years with anybody? No. Okay. No, I haven't. So, you know, there's, like I said, there's a reason for everything. Like some people might come here because they're just like, uh, you know, they're just total deviants, just total like, you know. I like me some Julie, I like me some, you know, kid, whatever. Mm. But other people, you know, it's, it could be years and, you know, it's a little bit different. Like, do, do you think, let me ask you this, do you think if you had a yesterday, you'd be here right now? No. Okay. So, so do, do you think, uh, but I did not come here for, so either. I hear you, but, but do you, do you think that, do you think that just kind of the, I, I guess a dry run the past few years kind of made you kind of maybe do things you otherwise wouldn't do absolutely it did. okay yes okay. absolutely I, I i've just been bored yeah you know and it's hard to meet yeah especially at 52 girls yeah you know it's hard to meet girls so right it's like i don't know sometimes i do when i go out to the bar sure you know but but you know it's like it's, it's like rolling it it's like rolling a dice that's not yeah. in your favor you right. know i know so there was a and i, I want to kind of verify how true this is so there was some stuff talked about, and since you told me it's been a while, like, I'm, I'm a lot more understanding of this than, you know, I'd be if you're like, yeah, man, I, I got my day earlier today, and I just, you know, but, um, you know, it was talked about, like, kind of uh, showing each other's and kind of each other and, you know, having, or just doing stuff, uh, but you said you would leave that up to her, though. I did. Okay. I said, I'm not going to pressure you into anything. Okay. I said, but I don't, but I also said, I didn't think we should. I said, I think we should wait if we're going to do anything like that. I said, you know. Wait, so, so you say, wait, what do you mean? Well, I told her if we're going to do anything like that, we mm. should wait till we know each other better, you know, okay. and stuff like that. That's what I said. But again, it was not my intention. Right. I and mean, she was crying. Right. You know. So is, is, is this like an, uh. So this wasn't like, so by know each other better, I mean, is this like a girl you wanted to befriend or? She was nice. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm She's just asking. nice, yeah. Of okay. course I wanted to befriend her, yeah. Okay, so this wasn't going to be like some one-time thing where you just kind of damage her and then did dip out or anything? Or? I had no plans on damaging anybody. Okay, because, you know, a lot of, uh, there could be a lot of people that do think that way. They just want to get it in and then just leave permanently. No, like, okay, okay. I, I didn't want to do and again, I didn't want to do anything. I just wanted to come over because she said, my mom's going to be gone and, right. you know, you can come over. And I said, well, okay, can, can, can come over. Got it. You so I, I guess the question is like, is this, is this kind of like f f relation, friendship, relationship, whatever, whatever it is, did it, is this something like you wanted to kind of last for a while as long as she wanted it? Or? I did. Okay. I wanted it to last for a while. As yeah. A, yeah. Yeah. I mean, obviously I did. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair so enough. I didn't want to, I mean, you know, I threw out 
she threw out marriage, you want to marry me, you know, and whatever. And what did you say to that? I'm just playing along. I said, yeah, I want to marry you, you know, whatever. Okay. You know, I mean, it's like. Yeah, I get it. It's just internet talk. I know internet it talk, I know it you know, I mean, so, yeah. Got it. Um, so I got to ask, you know, you're a father and obviously you seem to be very protective of Julie and actually give a shit about her, which I can't say. Um, I can't say a lot. I mean, I can, there's because there's definitely people online that aren't protective of kids at all. And they're just they just think of it as objects and all that stuff. I know. Um, so there's been. Uh, well, let me ask you this, because I will tell you, this is kind of a question I know the answer to some of the stuff like asking, hey, was this like, did you just want to see her once or kind of actually be friends with her? I didn't know the answer to that. But this one I do, so you've been very honest, and I assume you'll just continue to be that way um, based on how you answer. But um, have there been people uh, that have run across you online that you think are probably bad people or like or evil people or I anything? I block them. Right. I block them. I get, I get guys who want to be, who want to send me hmm. stuff or be my friend on Instagram or whatever. And I just block them because I know that they're just, I get, had guys sending me messages. Yeah, she's a choice and shit. And I block them. It in reference to children? Yeah, in reference to younger girls. Wow. Yeah. So I just block them. Has it always been younger girls or some younger boys too they talk about? That I don't know. I'm not, I don't, I don't talk to guys. I know, I know, I, don't I, know, I, know guys, I know, I know, I know. You know, so I don't know what they're into. I don't care what they're sure, into. Sure, sure. You know? Well, um, I'm, I'm only asking because uh, kind of about the group chats that kind of form on some of these apps. I'm not in any groups. No, I'm not saying you are no. now. I mean, not, I, don't, I don't have a way to check now, but just previously, like there's been groups. I don't think I was on any groups, was I? You don't think you're on any groups? No, I would. I don't. I don't join groups. I have no reason to join. What groups. about group invites? I don't join groups. No, I, fair enough. But I, people, I don't think I've ever gotten a group invite. Well, people try to suggest, like those people that you know talk about those younger girls and all that type of stuff. Do they try to like say, "Hey, do you want to join my group?" Or, "Hey, are you interested in this group?" Or anything like that? On Instagram, I've never had anyone on Instagram ask me to join a group. I'm not saying Instagram, but like Telegram, Telegram, any other of these apps. Oh, possibly, but I don't pay attention to that stuff. Okay. Honestly, you know. What do they typically say when they want, like, when they're wanting you to join a group? Hey, join my group. Oh, really? Okay. I mean, yeah. So it's pretty just like forward, like join my group. I guess, yeah, yeah. You okay. Know, so. Got it. Um. So there's been some people uh, you mentioned that have tried to like send photos, videos, whatever. Yeah, well, okay. the, that girl from the UK did. Right, right, but you know the guys that you block. They never tried to send me anything. Well, I, I just heard like you know that you say you had to block them because they were trying to send you stuff. No, because they wanted to like because no because they were like. I could tell they were just jerks. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? Well, just to call, because well, you, you said calling a, calling like young girls, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Like. And I like the, what this guy B Glock or something mm -hmm. his name is. Yeah. He sent me a message like that once and I blocked him. Which girl was he talking about? Uh, this girl, I don't know, even star or something on Instagram. Yeah. Okay. I don't, I don't know her name. Or and anything. he just, I've never talked to her. He just said, she was on live. She was doing a live video once. Okay. And he was on and I, we were watching her live video. Yeah. 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 I ended it and he sent me a message. Okay. And then I blocked him. Basically just saying, Hey, you still a girl over yeah. there. Okay. And I blocked him. Okay. Cause I'm like, yeah, I don't care. Got it. Got it. Um, I, I do have to ask though, because you know, obviously I don't think any of these, uh, pictures or videos belong to you. Like, I don't think you're the one behind the camera. That'd be kind of a, That'd be a whole other thing, right? Yeah. But, you know, the reason I'm asking this is because, and hey, you know, you don't know until they send, right? It's not like, it's not like, you know, I don't, it doesn't appear like you're begging for anything or, you know, but have you had to basically uh, kind of uh, block people who have sent you things, try to get rid of them or just be like, hey, why'd you send me this? Let me, let me pull out of here. I guess I really haven't, but I okay. stopped talking to people. You know, right, right. I mean, okay. Like the person who sent me that video, I stopped talking to her, you know, mm -hmm. so. Well, this is the thing, um, you know, and I think so far you've been 95% honest and the other 5% is because I don't think, 
I don't think this is a subject that you condone or like. I, I, I really don't think. There's some of it I just don't remember because honestly, it's kind of a fly by thing. Right. You know? Right. I mean, I don't really pay all that much attention. For sure. For sure. But, um, you know, if we have Telegar, Telegram, Instagram, I mean, these are all pretty. These are all pretty uh, common apps that some of these, I guess you could say, bad actors use to for some of this stuff. How often do people hit you up asking you to trade? Well, I don't. It, well, no, no, it's not zero. I'm just asking how many people hit you up asking that, or how often, I guess, does it happen? Uh, I mean, not very often. I don't trade. I got nothing to trade. What? What's to trade? You know, what are they trading? I don't even know okay. if they're trading. Okay. Well, I'm just asking, how often do people hit you up to trade, and kind of what apps do they hit you up on for that? Uh. On Instagram, no, no one's that I remember has hit me up to trade anything. Okay, well, who, who ha where, where has it happened? Um, because it's not, it's not zero. On uh, there's this app, anonymous chat. Okay. That on that app. Okay. You know, and I just keep going. Mm -hmm. You know, if I'm on there. Yep. You fair know, enough. So you, you do have an Android, right? I do. Okay. So here's the thing, um, kind of some of the questions I asked you were to see like if there was any chance that you'd be behind the camera on any of these photos. God, and no. no, okay, okay, yeah. Oh, well, that, 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 I think that just told me enough. Obviously not. That's not. And from that, I don't think you condone any of it either. Like you're. No, I mean no, no. Right. I mean it's not. It's not a. No. That's not something you're interested in. Yeah, yeah, of course. But what I'm trying to look for is and this is why i took the actual time to talk to you because you were very sweet to julie some people might look at it as like oh man why would he say this whatever i mean dude it's been so long since you've actually had a female to talk to i get it like it's not like you wouldn't be here if you had a girlfriend i mean i, I totally right. understand that right but what i'm looking for is actual bad people online you're not one of them i don't i wouldn't talk to someone face to face who i think's bad or face to face with someone who's like you know out to hurt people i just right. wouldn't even take the time for that but I mean, I'm just gonna tell you straight up, like a lot of these people have uh, sent things your way. I'm not saying you asked for it, you know, I don't see any proof of that or anything, but they have sent things your way on a multitude of these apps. And the reason I know is because Androids uh, suck at protecting okay. anything. Like it's not, if you had a, if you had like an Apple themed Nokia or something, maybe I wouldn't know, but Androids are pretty, you know, it's pretty wide open, right? Like, imagine Androids like me shirtless, just letting the sun, you know, burn my white ass. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I'm not, one, I get it, wrong place, wrong time. Like, I've been in situations where I just open up something one day. I'm like, what the f is that? Why did you just send me that? Who is this guy? So, I get it. The only thing I'm kind of bringing up with you is it's kind of ha been happening for at least a good while. And... I don't think it's something that you ever wanted to stumble into or kind of, uh, you know, or looking for or anything like that. But when about did people start kind of either spamming or just sending you images and pics of kind of younger kids like this? Because it's, it's been happening for quite a bit, but it's not. I mean, just periodically, I guess. I mean, yeah. Well, I guess did it start in like the year 1970? Like, like, that's what no. I'm, you're right, right. Duh, duh, just duh. Maybe a, a year or two ago. A year or two ago. A couple of years ago, maybe. Okay. No, I don't know. Which app would you say is like the worst for these people doing this type of stuff? Or the most severe, I guess. Well, so like Teleguard and Telegram, mm -hmm. it's not really... It's like that's where people direct you to. Okay. You know, um, so since I've really only been on Instagram, I guess you know, it's kind of like where it kind of all happens. You know, mm -hmm. I mean. So would you would you say these these uh, people would you say they're mostly Americans or foreigners? To be honest, I don't know. I don't know where they're from. It seems like a lot of people are from Europe. Okay. You know. Are they like? How can you, how, like, I'm not saying there's a right answer to this, but how would you know they're European or how would you come to that? Uh... Just because I feel like a lot of people that I've ran into on like Instagram and stuff mm -hmm. have been from the UK or from Germany. Oh, okay. Or something like that. You Just know? kind of where it's a little bit more loose over there or something like I that. Guess, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That you makes know? sense. Yeah. Um, so have they usually sent like pictures, videos, or kind of, I mean, obviously I know the video uh, that was sent from that one girl, but I'm talking about like more of the traders and stuff. They usually send like pictures, videos, or both, or? Uh, 
I think videos. Videos? I mean, yeah. Okay. I mean... How do those videos make you feel? I'm like, okay, you know, whatever. What's this? So, like, does it give you, like, any, like, positive or negative emotions or... No, not really. I mean, I'm not... No. Just kind of like a, just kind of up, and they yeah, just kind of did something yeah, fucking retarded. Okay. What's going on here? This okay. Is, this is crazy. Okay. That people do this shit. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's more, I guess, shocking for you. Or? A little bit. Okay. Yeah. yeah. What's what's uh, shocking about kind of what they're doing, or like what what shocks you about it? I guess. Well, that it actually happens. What what, what happens? That people are like so into it. Into like younger kids. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So, I mean, I know, like, if Julie was five, you wouldn't be here, obviously. I, I think even you're, uh, I know, I'm not, I'm not trying to shame you about that. I'm just kind of comparing things, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think I'm trying to shame you. Obviously, if I was here to shame you, I'd be, I'd be talking, like, a little bit louder and yeah. be a little bit more, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, like, I'm not here to judge somebody who just stepped in the wrong sand one time, dude. I mean, what am I, 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 I can't be doing that stuff. But. I want another cigarette. Go ahead, feel free. I don't ever smoke this much. Well, oh. you're completing the rock star look. Well, I'm <laughs> like, <laughs> 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 all here. I know, I know. Right. Just bought this car. You yeah, don't smoke it in the car. I don't smoke in the car. There you go. I just bought this car. Is it new or used? Or? In my apartment either. There you go. Because I shouldn't even really be smoking, so. Definitely. What have you? How long have you been smoking for? I quit for many years, but my last job. I was doing foil stamping them. God, I'd probably just. Uh, you're more disciplined than me. Probably that place it sounds yeah, so boring kind of this ocd thing so it was really good for my ocd and i'm pretty artistic so i was really yeah. good at it but well, it was a real high stress kind of job well did, did you like custom make the book binders or was it like you're just an assembly line just kind of putting stuff or no i got no the book covers are made usually and then they come my way and then i set up dies and set up foil okay and then run them through the machine yeah yeah Interesting. So, yeah. so you kind of did design them a little bit. I, well, the, 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 the customer sends the design. Oh, I but see. They, I they see. send, they send the artwork out to have dyes made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you have to place the dye. So you're like a tattoo artist for books. Kind of. Okay. I that was. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Whoa. Is, uh, I guess high stress because it was so tedious or? Uh, no, the management there. Oh, really? Yeah. What were they like? Well, my manager there, Threatened me a few times and almost like hit physically. Me. Yeah, and almost hit me a few times. Why the fuck would he do that? Because he was crazy. Okay, ah, that's a good answer. <laughs> so uh, I quit. That's why I quit because I couldn't take it anymore. I said, "Let's I'm out." Got you know, it. My hours got reduced, and then I was so being treated like cra crap, and I, I said, "I'm out." Do you make decent money now at the painting job? No, I make less. But, oh, okay. But uh, it's steady work. It's forty hours a week. Oh, there you go. Do you get benefits and all that? I or? do. There you go. That's yeah, good. I do good. get benefits. There we go. It's good. Yeah. Um, God, do you get along with people there? Mostly. Nice. Yeah. Do you like? Do you work alongside somebody, or are you kind of solo? Or there's three of us in the warehouse. Damn. Yeah, is that like so... pretty empty, or is it a small it, warehouse? It's a it's a big warehouse, but three of us can handle it. There's two yeah. drivers, and then three people in the warehouse, yeah. and then two of us are kind of backup drivers. Right. Or else you do the forklifts. I drive forklifts nice, and trucks nice, and all nice. that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I actually, uh, when I was a kid, I worked at my uncle's warehouse. He has a, like a lighting store. And, um, so the warehouse manager, he taught me how to drive a forklift when I was like, probably, uh, maybe like 15, 16 or something like that. And, you know, my, it pissed my uncle off, but it was really fun, but it's so hard to drive. Like you got to factor in the back wheels and all that stuff. But Hey, I had the time of my life doing it, though. It was fun as shit. Well, I don't mind. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a pretty lax job. It's yeah, not as stressful yeah. as my last one. And like I right. said, it's guaranteed hours. So there you go. May I ask how, how much you get paid an hour? Or? Well, I get paid eighteen seventy five an hour. I mean, that's not terrible. Yeah, but I'm worth 25 an hour. Easily. Oh, yeah. I feel yeah. you. I feel that's, yeah. a, that's a good swagger to have. You, I mean, well, I worked for UPS for 20 years. What happened with that? I left because I was third shift and I never slept and I couldn't take it. And every bid I signed, I couldn't. 
couldn't get out of third shift work. Well, you just couldn't like, uh, cause I, I know some people that work night shift, they have those like dark, uh, those dark window things. I am very much a day person. Okay. I cannot sleep during the day. So just your circadian rhythm was just no matter what. Yeah. Okay. That makes yeah. sense. That makes sense. Yeah. And I did it for 10 years. And after 10 years, I, that's part of the reason I started Tai Chi for more because i was never sleeping and i was miserable and i needed something to kind of refocus on so what exactly is tai chi it's not like taekwondo is it no it's yeah. uh they call it moving meditation okay swimming okay. in air okay yeah but it's a martial art right right i mean i guess you need a factor of everything to be effective like you do, if you don't have any discipline or just like self-looseness then you're not gonna it doesn't really matter how hard you can like punch or anything uh, it wasn't really like that for me. It yeah. was more about the health aspect than the mental aspect. So Do you think it's improved for you? Taoist meditation and stuff like this. Hey, hey, oh, yeah. yeah, absolutely. It has. It changed my attitude considerably. Like more positive and all that? Absolutely. Nice. Yeah. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, that's, that's very ad admirable. Um, hate to jump back to a dark subject here, but... <laughs> so, obviously, it seems like we're on the same team versus these people that kind of send this type of crap. Um, so how how depraved are they like how low are the videos that they send like if you had to guess an age i'd guess all the way down to 10 years old 10 years old yeah. okay are, the, are these videos like with uh is it just the kids themselves or some with adults or kind of both or just kids themselves no stuff what would a 10 year old be doing in the video yourself really so there's and all that stuff yeah okay um how many of these kind of uh go down to and the only reason i mean you've been so honest with me i mean i would i would usually never tell anybody this but i'll just kind of tell you um so we have like a, a thing that kind of monitors so if you got a picture of a 16 year old you would just have to tell me i wouldn't i wouldn't be able to tell because you know some 16 year olds can look 20 some 20 year olds can look 16. yeah so what's even what's even the bother with that right but when it goes from 12 to 15, there's kind of a yellow light in our system. And when it goes from uh, 9 to 12, there's an orange light in our system. When it goes from 5 to 9, there's a red light in our system. When it goes from 0 to 5, there's a dark red light in our system. You can clearly see why it gets darker and redder than when it goes down, right? Sure. Um, so I can, I can prove in many ways that these people, because we're talking Europeans, man. We're not talking people who have a line like... You know, like I told you earlier, if Julie was five, you wouldn't be here right now because you actually have a line. But these people on Telegram and Telegram don't have any lines. You know that. And, you know, so I, I can prove that it's gone down to people sending babies and toddlers just from you being on Telegram and Telegram because that is like the pristine place to be at the wrong place, wrong time. It's like, yeah, I'm a Japanese citizen in World War II and I'm just going to step right into Hiroshima and hope for the best. That's kind of what being on Telegram and Telegram is like. You know what I'm saying? Um, and of course, you know, the system, which has never lied to me is it's shown a lot of, uh, how do I put it? Uh, dark, dark red ones and all that. And I'm not saying it's most of them. And, you know, I'm not saying you're asking for that type of stuff. It seems like, you know, if you have a thing for older teenagers and who gives a what guy doesn't, but you know, obviously the Europeans and people talking to you don't have a line at all. I'm sure as you, you've seen. So I'm just going to ask you this straight up because I wouldn't ask you a question you don't know the answer to. I'm not unfair. I mean, I hope you can see I'm not unfair, like a very fair and understanding. Um, how often do they send shit of like babies and toddlers? Because I know they do. I'm just, how often is it? I don't, if they have, honestly. Okay. I, I I'm, I'm, I'm asking you how often it's been sent because I'm not... I'm not, I'm, I'm not saying you've asked for it. I'm just saying I know Telegram, how Telegram and Telegram are. Babies and toddlers, I'm not, I, I don't even think I've seen anything with babies and toddlers, to be honest. I, Could there a chance, is there, I'm trying to figure out what this, uh, what these red lights would be saying. Is there a chance maybe they were five or six, maybe a little bit older than toddlers? There's a chance, I guess, but I don't really pay that much attention, to be honest. I mean, okay. Well, do they Honestly. usually do they usually send this stuff? Like, is it they usually send it like in the chat straight up, or is it kind of like on mega links, or how they how do they usually do this kind of stuff? Usually in the chat straight, okay, straight up. Yeah, because I'm not on. I know what mega is. I'm uh -huh. not on mega, so I H have they sent like mega links? You just haven't opened. I'm. Sh I think they have. Yeah, but I okay. don't. I don't have mega, so I just don't. I don't open that kind of stuff. Okay. How often do you think they send mega links? I think I've been sent a couple, a okay. few, what's I, the, I guess. What's the layout of one kind of like? 
I don't even I don't even really know. I mean, I don't think they let you, I don't even think you can access it without a mega account. Okay. I think. So, I think there's been like a couple I tried to open and I couldn't even open them cuz I don't even have a mega account. Okay. You know. So So, look, man, um again, I totally understand the reservation of why I'm not hearing and I actually appreciate that I'm not hearing the whole thing cuz it's obviously obviously you don't like this stuff, okay? I'm not saying you do, but if you've tried to open up a mega link by clicking on it, you don't need a mega account to open up a mega link. Oh, you don't? Oh, see. I well, no, no, just so there's no need to kind of, uh, there's no need to beat around the bush with that. Like, obviously, if these aren't your mega links that you put together, I, I care more about what they're doing. You know, you're more of my eyes on the inside with this type of stuff. Okay. I, I'm, I think at this point, I okay. hope you can see that. All right. Okay. So just what's kind of the layout of a mega link like? Don't beat around the bush. It's, it's all right. I think it pops up and, and it just like is a series of like squares or okay. something of like pictures okay. or videos. I think that's what it basically Fair enough. is. Okay. So what's, what's the most that one of these bozos sent on a mega link you think? And I, I know you didn't count like one, two, three, four, five, but you know, you're just looking at it. What do you think? What do you think that number could be? Oh God. I don't know. It could be up to 50 maybe. 50? I guess. Okay. Yeah. You know, was it uh when they said mega links, was it like a, a set of one girl or was it just like random shit put in there or just random shit, put just in random there. shit put in there. Yeah. Okay. So part of the reason I ask about the babies and toddlers, because those are the most vulnerable, like you gave Julie the option to say no, and she could say no. And I think you would not pursue if she said no, that's just the vibe I get from you. But the reason I ask about babies and toddlers is because they can't say no. There's just right. no, there's no excuse. Like right. I, I'm not about to hear, Oh, I haven't had in five years. So I'm here to meet this two year old. This isn't, that's not an no. excuse, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so that, that's why I'm asking about them and I hopefully want to identify some of them. And so if we're, if we're opening up mega links, if we're kind of on telegram, teleguard, look, my opinion of you isn't going to change just because you're going to tell me like what baby videos they sent your way. Okay. My opinion of you isn't going to change. I already know you're not into that stuff. What I think would indicate you were into it is if you just told me straight up and like seemed to like talking about it, that'd be kind of a, that'd be kind of something, right? So the fact that you didn't even tell me uh, that they send that type of shit means that I know you don't like it, right? So I just want to ask, because if, if we're talking mega links, we're talking Telegard, you would be the first person in history to open up a mega links and have Telegard that has not been sent baby videos. And you know that because it's just, it's not, and you're not the first person in history because you were sent that stuff. So in the in the past and i said there was a girl in australia okay i remember i was talking to okay and she sent me stuff like that and i said i i said don't send me stuff like St that. stuff of like what babies and babies and toddlers, and toddlers. And I said, okay. don't send me stuff like that i don't want to i don't want to see that yeah, let's lower the voice small go ahead go ahead and i'm almost out of sight all right you just can't you just can't get me from the uh lung disease because of this because no, <laughs> i'm not making you do it no. what would you like me to do for you well i think uh we're gonna i'm happy to help you are i think we're gonna when we get back over there we're gonna any i know you don't know her, her address or anything but point me you're gonna point me in the right direction about this girl in australia that was doing that crazy type of shit i stopped talking to her i know you did i know you did A lot of people I've talked to that I don't talk to anymore that I can tell you about, so. Yeah. Um, she was 16. What is your telling? Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Well, she, told me, she told me she was anyways. That's insane, dude. She's, she's into a lifetime of just crazy. So she was 16 from what she told me. So. Sunlight's the best disinfectant. We got to be in the sun here. Oh, okay. If you don't mind. Okay. Um, she was so. A 16 year old was already just kind of into that shit. She was. How did, how did she uh, meet you? Uh, I'm trying to remember. I want to say it was Instagram again. No way, man. That's just like the Grand Central Station I, I, of bullshit. But, but honestly, I think that was at the beginning of, the, of when I was bored. Okay. Okay. And like just. Kind of hopping into a different hopping world. Hopping into yeah. a different world, yeah. So what, what app did she bring you to, to kind of, kind of, you Telegram. know, Telegram? Yeah. Okay. So let's kind of uh, try to narrow this 18 year old chick. Did she, uh, how did she get those videos? She said people sent them to her. 
Really? Yes, but okay. I do not know who. Okay. She never said who. So this was so I, the reason I asked that is because did she say anything to the extent of like this is me and my little brothers, me and my little sister, or anything like that? No, she I think wanted to actually come here and meet me. She had a rich family or uh -huh. something in Australia, and she liked me a lot. But she started sending me stuff like that. Crazy stuff. And I yeah. said, no, I said, don't send me stuff like that. Was, was she a? Uh, did she like video call you? Like Julie was she? Was she a real person? She video called me. Okay, so she was like a legit like. She was real. Okay. Yeah. Did she ever send you herself? Did she just get crazy and frisky? She did send. Damn. She did. How'd you pull like some? Uh, how'd you pull some uh, fine piece of kiwi like that? I. I don't know. I was just messing around. It just kind of happened. Yeah. Okay. I was just messing around. Okay. Interesting. Um, damn. So did she send those uh, baby videos like on a mega link or was it kind of just in the chat or? She sent a mega link. Okay. Yes, she did. So, um, yes, how... thank you. She did. Okay. Yeah. Okay. How long were these uh, videos of the babies? I didn't watch it. The first one I opened, mm -hmm. I, she said, you might like this. And I, I opened it, yeah. and I, I saw it, and I stopped right okay. away. And I said, don't. Was, was this a baby like a boy or a girl? Or? It was a girl. OK. What was happening to her? Um, I think there's another guy. I think okay. there was a guy in that what, one. What was he doing to this uh, infant? Well, character? I think he was trying to have sex with her or something. Trying? Well, yeah, I mean. Uh, I immediately, like I said, I immediately opened it. I saw it. I can stop. That's okay. what, this is wrong. Okay. I'm like, this is, I don't, I'm not into this shit. Okay. You no, know? I, I don't, I don't think you are, but, um, kind of another thing about the flagging system is that, uh, you know, it only gets flagged if it's viewed, like not, and by viewed, I mean viewed for over 30 seconds or whatever. It, it may is. have been over 30 okay. seconds. Okay. I mean, yeah, but I'm like shocked. Right, right, right. You Cause know? you know, obviously we, you know, I could, I could bluff you and say, oh, we could see your facial expression through the phone, but that wouldn't really, <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't, I would lie to you. Okay. So what, know? what was, what was kind of like the start of the video, the middle of the video, the end of it? Cause I never got to the end of it. Okay. What could you see him trying to do in the video? Put his in, there. in an infant. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I'm like, what the f Yeah. 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 No, know? definitely unpleasant shit. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. It made me really uncomfortable. And she, Especially having kids of my own that I right, right. that I raised partially yeah. half their lives. You yeah. know what I mean? I'm like, what the f Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. I mean, so when did, uh, and again, like, you know, coming here, I, I, I could have thought like, oh my God, he saw videos of babies. He, there's, what is he not into? But since he told me that, hey, this is some crazy chick in Australia. She just sent this to me. I saw what it was. I was shocked. You know, didn't want to see it. Didn't want a part of it. Like that tells that, that explains a lot more than just like it was just sent to you. You know what I'm saying? Right. So um, maybe we can do it with this too. Um, when when people ask you to trade and slash trade and all this stuff, and look, I mean, have you traded images of kids? In those videos? Yeah, you have straight up. There's no there's no beating around the bush. There's no saying, oh well, this or that. No, I mean, it, it just happened. So when did uh? And I'm just going to ask you why. First of all, when did you kind of start trading this stuff back and forth? And when did you start kind of, or when, why did you, why do you think you started doing that? I was bored. Okay. Honestly. I mean, it was like a world I'd never experienced before in my life. Okay. So it was kind of like going down the dark path, I guess. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Saying, you know, what the f is in the dark path here? Okay. So it's more you of know, just like a, this is curiosity. curiosity. Okay. Yeah. So have you ever been in any groups where they uh, kind of make everybody contribute to the group in order to stay in it? Yeah. Okay. What, what app was that on? That was on Telegram, I believe. Okay. Yeah. So basically they're like, if you want to stay in the group, you got to post some child pretty much. Pretty much. And I left the groups. Okay. Got it. How often do people uh, trade with you? Uh, I don't trade. I mean, I, I guess in the, I can't, as far as a number goes, I don't know. I mean, I can't. Well, yeah, how, how periodic is it? Uh, I don't know. I guess maybe the last time someone asked me to trade was mm -hmm. within a year, I guess. Within a year. Okay. I guess. Yeah. Okay. Um, I do got to ask, uh, 
There's a thing posted on your Instagram of like a little lolly girl, you know, lolly and all that stuff. Yeah, lollycon. Lollycon, yeah. yeah. The cartoons. Yep. Lolly with a thing of uh, pizza behind it, like the, the pizza emoji type stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's because it's like a big thing for those people, you know, or whatever. What is? And I was just, pizza, it's like this thing for them, like whatever you call it. So I just kind of hopped on the bandwagon a little bit, you know, because so, I was looking up pictures uh, Lollicon stuff and mm -hmm. I saw that picture and I'm like, oh, someone might like this, you know, right, so I right. posted it. So it, basically, uh, what is, so what does the cheese pizza stuff stand for or what's it supposed to stand for? I think it stands for child. Okay. Yeah. So you were, you just put that on your profile to kind of just jump on a bandwagon? Pretty much. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah, people are into this here. It's a cartoon. <laughs> That's fair. You know? That's fair. I mean... Do, yeah. Do, do you think there's a, have you ever heard of somebody, um, if you stare into the abyss too much, you become part of the abyss. Have you ever heard that? <laughs> yes, I okay. have. Okay. One through 10, 10, it, it definitely happened to me. And one, no, nah, bro, I've just been staring in it for the past couple of years. One to 10, how much do you think you become part of this abyss? Cause I'm willing to get you out of it, but. Uh, probably about closer to 10. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Closer to 10. Okay. So I just, it's like something, it's like something that I kind of got into and I kind of went, oh, and I kind of just kind of just started snow, on that snowballing. snowballing. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, because nobody, uh, <laughs> sorry, nobody, uh, puts a thing of a lollicon and pizza to just jump on a bandwagon unless they're straight up on that train you know what i'm saying yeah well i mean i guess i kind of was a little bit but it ain't a was i mean you, i mean hey man we got a if you're if you're spending 4.99 on teleguard to purchase the name pizza on there i mean we're we're a little bit we're a little bit uh a little, we're a little bit too far into it we kind of okay. need to reel it back a little bit okay so when, when did you purchase the name pizza on teleguard pizza on yeah. teleguard yeah I'd never purchased anything on Teleguard. Really? I never bought. Okay. I never bought anything. Well, your name on there was okay. So no, you just took the name Pizza. Yeah. I, okay. I did. I don't even know if I used. Did I use the name Pizza on Tele? Something Pizza on Teleguard. <sighs> I don't even remember. Whatever. Because. I changed my name okay. all the time. Yeah. That's yeah. I mean, one way or the other, it's, it's not, I guess the most relevant or important thing. I mean, yeah. I just changed my name all the time, okay. you know, so Got I don't it. know. Well, let, let's kind of, uh, let's kind of, uh, kind of reel back from set of bits that we're in. Um, you know, would you say, uh, there were some fantasies about Julie? There were some, sure. Okay. Of course there were, but I haven't had in a while yeah you know? hey there there I you mean, go there you go you i know, know so know. yeah but okay so i, I want to um do, do you think there's a chance that kind of staring into the abyss this long seeing this abyss kind of suck you in do, do you think it's started to develop to a point where I'm done now <laughs> well uh, yeah no i believe that i believe that it's <laughs> it's not going to be easy but it's going to it's going to happen i mean we're going to go on the right path um but do, do you think there's a chance that kind of a Seeing all this stuff online as kind of just put stuff into your brain to want to potentially try this with somebody that age? I won't. I won't. I'm not, I'm not saying you will or won't. I'm just saying, do you think it's, it's put that in your fantasy. mind? It was all just fantasizing, like, what if? Like, wow, okay. what would that be like? Okay. Kind of deal. So, you know, so it has put in some fantasies, you think? Uh, yeah. That makes but sense. But nothing, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I get it. I get it. So I do have, I'm not going to, obviously I don't want to, I don't want to embarrass you. I mean, you've been tremendous and, you know, I do work with honest people. I could use some uh, fucking fried pickle. I do, not love, do you go to Texas Roadhouse at all often? No, I don't. Oh, damn it, man. No, I'm mostly vegetarians. So oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't eat a lot of meat. Well, so. do you like fried pickles? Never had it. Got to try it, man. I love fried pickles. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is this is it right here. Gov, whatever the f for pizza, something that telegram, the telegram name. Oh, that's just something that they. I don't pick that. Really? No, they just sent me that. Really? As my when I when I 
when I cl um, created my account, uh -huh. that's just that's just the link they sent me. I didn't oh, ask okay. for that. So that was just a crazy coincidence then. Yeah, no, that's okay. I didn't okay. I didn't create okay. that. Oh. They did. Okay, I was that's kind of yeah. No, shocking. ever been on uh, sessions before? I have been on sessions before. Okay. Yeah. Do we have to uh, pick out what happened on there, or can we just say that people sent some pretty f people, up shit on people there? People sent some pretty f up shit on there. Okay. I'm not on session. Okay. How, how low has it gone on sessions? Sessions pretty f up. Really? It is. Would you say what's more f up in your experience, Telegram or sessions? Sessions. Really? Yeah. How, how often does sessions go down to like babies, toddlers, shit like that? That's where I stopped. I. I because I'm like, because it did, because it did go down to that point. Yeah. Okay. I mean, people on there are freaks. I'm like, I don't want nothing to do with you people. So it's a little bit lower than like the teens, preteens on there, or it it can be. Yeah, okay. but I don't want anything. I didn't want anything to do with it. Yeah. That's why I'm not on session. I'm okay. Like, you guys are up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Well, what... that's another one where they have groups, and then they <laughs> say you contribute. And okay. You have to contribute, and I, I said, well, I. Yeah. yeah. So I was going to ask that, like, yeah, was sessions groups or individuals or yeah, I guess groups, groups. but okay. I like was like, no. Okay. Yeah. Um, how many times have you contributed to one of these groups to kind of stay in it? Uh, I haven't. I mean, maybe once or twice okay. if somebody sent me something that I had. Okay. You know, and I said, oh, here's. Yeah, just kind of just kind of forward what they put in the group. Right. Okay. You know, I mean, but yeah. So I listened to y'all's uh, phone call last night and y'all talked about, um, you know, cause look, I, I fully understand, you know, I'm a guy, I'm a guy too. And you know, if I go without it for too long, it's not, it's not pretty. That's for sure. Yeah. All right. I'm not going to pull these messages out. You know, I think you're just going to be honest about it. I don't feel the need to just say exactly what was said in the messages, but um, I was listening to the phone call and, you know, let me just, let, let, let me just give you two things that I think. Okay. One of them is, do I think that Julie is just going to be forced to do anything at all? No, I don't think that at all. I don't even ask you if you're going to force her to do that. But do I think a guy who has not had any, do I think a guy who has not had any contact with any, with any female in years and who obviously has feelings for this girl do you, do I think that nothing would happen? Obviously, no. I don't think that either. I mean, okay, so yeah. I mean, there was a possibility, obviously, possibility of what? something heck happening, like kissing or something. Kissing, like that, okay, right? right. But I'm gonna be real honest with you here. Uh -huh. If that had happened, mm -hmm. I, most likely, probably, mm -hmm. ninety nine percent chance I would have stopped and said, "This isn't right." Stopped at that kissing. Yeah. Okay. And so this isn't right. I can't do this. Okay. Because you know, on the is, phone last night, it was said that, um, you know, we're gonna kiss and then we're gonna see like kind of what more, maybe yes, more. I so, did say that, but I was so well, again, I was playing. Well, I mean, I, I get it, but hey, man, we're guys, and sometimes like, <laughs> trust me, I don't like to just kiss. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, I'm not saying I'm not saying every contact with a female I have ends up in. But you know, yeah. I'll say it rarely is just kissing. That's for yeah. sure. Yeah. Um, but you, you know, so let me let me just let's just make this as fair as possible. Um, when we say kissing and possibly more, just be honest, okay? You know, I'm not expecting you to tell me. Well, you know, tying her up and licking her feet and just throwing her. You know, well, I, I'm not expecting all that, right? I don't think that's going to happen. But what, maybe more, what, what, what is some of that more stuff that could have possibly happened? Not guaranteed, just possibly. I, you know, possibly. I mean, where could it progress? You're a guy. It could progress to, it could progress to possibly, okay. you know. But again, I'm just going to say this. So let me, let me get this straight. Is it, so basically, it wasn't on the table, but it, was, it also wasn't off the table. It was more of just, if it happens, it happens. Uh, more or less, okay. yeah. Um, but again, well, I do want to ask about. Uh, I, I do want to ask about, you know, if if that were to happen, like, what would uh, what what would Julie have? What what would Julie have to show for that to happen? Like, would she have just 
said you have to say yes or do, would you have to have felt her out first like how, how would that have con possibly gone down i have no idea okay I, I i really don't i didn't think about it that much okay honestly. well what, what about what what chance would there be of any force happening with her none okay okay so so the general or the that's just kind of vague, could or could not it be, but... It would have been left up to her okay, completely. Well, I appreciate that. Like, like, seriously. Okay, but any force is completely off the table. God, no. Okay, okay. No, I don't force okay. anybody to do anything. Okay, ever. so the most that could have happened then is just possibly consensual if the stars align or some if bullshit. If the stars align. Okay, that's fair, that's fair. Honestly. Yeah, 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 I, I believe that, okay. Um, did your, uh... Does your ex-wife ever make false assumptions about you? She might. I don't talk to her. Okay. Did she ever, like, refer to you as, like, you know, a creep or, or anything like that? Not that I'm aware of. She thought I was a... Okay. Did you... Uh, she... Yeah, we got into fights. Like, I mean, physical? Like, yelling fights Oh, okay. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I'm shocked. Well, I was a big... For many years, too. Well, you, I mean, she's yeah. marrying someone from Minnesota. I mean, what, what does she expect? And so, you know, booze took control of my life for many, many years. Then you became a Mason. Well, this is this is part of it. So, part of my story is in 2008, I woke up from a bender. Why? One morning, like I was on a party bender. That. Well, I was partying. Oh, okay. Days okay, okay, okay. And I woke up in my bed and I was staring at my ceiling and I said, I can't do this anymore. Something's got to change. Yeah. So I talked to my friend who was studying Tai Chi at the time. Nice. And I said, yeah. So he brought me, introduced me to Ray. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> Ray said, yeah, come in and join our class. And I said, okay, give me a year. I want to be sober for a year. Mm -hmm before I commit to anything like this, I want to see if I can do it, yeah, 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 if yeah. I can commit. So does Tai Chi like preach sobriety and all that stuff? No, no, not at all. Okay. And in fact, after I started Tai Chi, you know, it was like, you know, you don't, I was like, well, I don't drink anymore or anything. Mm -hmm. And he's like, well, why? Oh, really? And I said, well, cause I had a problem. He goes, just control it. Yeah. Just control it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so I said, okay, so I control it. So. Even now, I still go out and have beers and stuff, sure, but I sure. don't go out and get wasted. I don't drive my car after I... After you, you take an Uber or something? I walk. Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah, you live pretty close to a bar. Two. Insight and uh, Falling Knife. Okay. Which are breweries, so... Yeah, I haven't, haven't been to those, but... Oh. Or my friend drives. There you go. You know, and then we go back to my place, and then we walk to Falling Knife or Insight. Hey, not bad. There you, you go. You know what I mean? So, Say a friend from work or just a guy you know? Or? I've known him for all my life. All right, nice, nice. Yeah. He's my accountant, actually. Really? Yeah. You have an accountant? I have an accountant. Does he, like, save you some, some taxes? Um, he helps me. He, he gives me ins and stuff because I'm a big record collector. Uh huh. So I sell records online and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And so he helps me with that. Oh, okay. Like, so you have yeah. like a side business and all that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is it like the records that like, play in the record player? Or? I know. Okay, yeah, shit. Absolutely. Nice. So how much? Is that like a good chunk of income or is it just like not kind anymore. of. Not anymore. Not anymore. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> not that makes anymore. Sense. That makes sense. Online sales have went downhill God, damn. So okay. I'm like, and i kind of ran out of records to sell mm -hmm. like I, everything i have now i want to keep right you know mostly right so, fair enough yeah. um so i, I want to kind of touch back on that 13 year old is there so obviously you want to get uh, kids out of situations i'm sure we're both on board with that yes okay but um did she because i like yeah i mean i'm sure she sent that video unsolicited but you know, she you didn't just open up her first message and there was that video. Like something, some shit had to be said before that. What what did she kind of talk to you about? Um, it's kind of like, well, I got to remember. So give me a minute, because well, let's put that sober mind to a test. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was kind of like we just she messaged me, I think first. Okay. On Instagram. And I was kind of like, oh, hey, you know, where are you from or whatever? Mm -hmm. And she's like, oh, uh, I'm from the UK, whatever, and kind of just talked. And I'm like, do you want to, she's like, do you want to talk more on Telegard or mm -hmm. something? And I said, sure. When did she tell you she was 13? Uh, 
I think it was on Telegram. Okay. She told me she was 13. Okay. But then she said she was banned from Instagram. <laughs> no, this is what happened. Okay. She posted a note that said she had been banned from live <laughs> Instagram. So I asked her why. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she goes, oh, because I uh, was showing a video of me having sex with my teacher or something like that. And I said, what? <laughs> I, said, so I said, really? And she's like, yeah, or whatever. And I'm like, you have sex with your teacher? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. she's yeah. like, yeah, all the girls do or whatever. And I'm like, you're kidding me. She's like, go oh, chat more on Telegram. Yeah, uh, Telegram. Yeah. yeah, Telegram. And so I said, okay. Did she ever video call you? No. So do you, do you this was this was a one-off situation. We had that conversation on Telegram, uh -huh. and that was it. Mm -hmm. That was done. I deleted my Telegram, and that was it. Okay. So. So when you sent that, uh, so when, did she? Say, okay, so yeah, I mean that's a child situation there where she's her teachers doing stuff to her. Whoever, I mean, I think there's a chance that, that person was a guy pretending to be her. Wow, that could be. Because she was in, because you know, the chick in Australia, that's why I asked if she, if she uh, video called you because. She was real. She was real. She was okay. real. And it, Haley, I think her name was, if I remember right. Okay. Her name was Haley. Got it. But yeah, I mean, this could easily be just like a, a trader just who has these pics of this girl, you know what I'm saying? It could be. Yeah. I guess. I yeah. guess. And I never really thought about it. Right. Kind of like, right. You know, this is boring. Pretty much I said, this is boring. And so just that's kind of ended I, the conversation. Ended yeah, it makes yeah. sense. Um, hmm, interesting. So, so she, she didn't make any indication like that, that this is a video only for you and this and that. No. Okay. No indication. When did she send you that video? Like how, how long ago was this conversation on Telegram? This is probably, I don't know, three months ago or something. Three months ago. Something okay. like that. Got I it. Guess. Got it. So, um, when that video was sent to Julie, so it wasn't forwarded then it had to, where did you send that video from? Telegram. No, no, I know, but you know, if the chat was wiped and everything, if the, if the chat was, if the chat was wiped and everything, like where was that video sent from? Like where, where did you get that video to go send it to Julie? She sent it to me on Telegram. Or mm -hmm. that person. No, I, that person was, I don't, I guess I don't understand. Sure. Uh, but uh, basically to send that video to Julie, um, and again, like we can take care of this, but it, it had to, it had to get saved to your phone in order to send it to Julie. Cause no, you can forward stuff directly from Telegram, I think. No. Yeah. No, I mean, I'm sure you could, yeah. but basically it was sent to Julie uh, not too long ago. Like we're, I think we're talking like a week or some days or whatever. Oh, maybe it was, maybe it wasn't a few months ago then. I, okay. You know, I mean, like I said, this time thing. Yeah. I'm not in time. <laughs> right, 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 right. I get it. I get it. You know. But you know, when we talk about the abyss, you know, kind of uh, the abyss can cause kind of irrational decisions. Like I don't think you're sitting at home with like a whole terabyte of just stupid stuff. But do you know, I think some irrational decisions might have been made? Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Do you? Uh, how often have you gone on the uh, dark web, like the Tor browser, Onion browser, shit like that? I've been on there. Okay. Because I heard about it from uh Haley or whatever okay you know so another cigarette oh, please yeah. but when i have gone on there it's been just browsing like for stuff like what's on here uh -huh. like, what what kind of shit is on this thing? Right, right. You know what I mean? Well, but basically with the dark web, did you find the child or did the child find you? No, I look for it. Oh, you look, you look for child there? Well, I look for... Uh, no, I'm, I'm not judging. I'm just asking. I looked for... Because I'm like, what, what what kind of stuff like this is on? How, 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 how crazy can it go? Crazy yeah, can yeah, it yeah, go? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just that. You just type that in. Child, we just type in child. Okay. Pops right up. I Didn't mean, know it was that simple. <laughs> a shitload of it. Actually. A shitload of it. I mean, there's like, there's tons of websites like that. Really? Yeah. It's that easy. But most of them are pay. You got to okay. pay. They want you to pay Bitcoin and. How many times have you paid for something like I that? I pay for shit. Never. No. Okay. Not ever. How low do the videos go on the dark web? 
baby solvers. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, I mean the websites that you see mm. listed on there states specifically, you know, what it is. Oh, really? They do. So there's been a, so there's been websites that we've kind of jumped into that have been just straight up vi websites for babies and toddlers. I mean, I guess pretty much. Okay. Yeah. What are they typically called? Like. I mean, oh yeah. Um, mm. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I don't even really know. I mean, the names are weird. They're, uh, I don't even remember the names. That's of them. fine. That's fine. You know, I mean, they're just weird. It's kind of like they pop up and you click on them yeah. and you go, what the f And then you can't really see anything anyways, because yeah. they want you to pay. They have like this thing mm -hmm. as a background or something, mm -hmm. you know, and then they want you to give them money or right. Bitcoin or something. Bitcoin or Yeah. I, I don't. Yeah. You yeah. Know? So. Have you ever bought like any mega links or anything no. or no? No. I've never bought anything. Like never that. bought anything no, like that. No, okay. never. Okay. Never. Not okay. once. I don't have money. Yeah. To do no, shit I get like it. That. I get it. I'm poor. Yeah. No, I get it. I get you. you. Know? I get you. I so, get you. No. Okay. Um. When uh, so is a dark web? Is that like? Is that something you can just go to on your phone, or is that do you, have, do you do a computer for that, or? You can go to it on your phone. I don't have a computer. Okay. So. And when did you first find out about the dark web and kind of see what was, that was anyway. about? Okay, so this was like last year or two or something like that. A couple of years ago, whenever I was talking to her. Okay. Yeah. Damn. So, it wasn't uh, the adult corrupting a minor; it's the minor corrupting an adult. <laughs> you don't see that as much. It was. Well, that's crazy. It okay. was. And that's kind of where I went. Whoa, this is nuts! I'm like, how far does this shit go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so. Fair it enough. It goes pretty fucking far. So. Pretty far, so farther than anything we've covered. I mean. Well, it's, it's, there's just so much of it out there. Mm -hmm. It's surprising to me. That's what I mean. Yeah. It goes so far, you know, I mean, I can't believe all that shit's out there. Okay. You know what I mean? Well, this is a, uh, have you seen anything where, you know, any kids are being like, like, I get it. It's, it, it's all, but anything where they're being like physically or like films or anything like that, or I've never seen anything. What about kids and animals? Uh, I have seen some things like that, I guess. How low do the kids Pictures go with the animals? That I couldn't tell. I mean, the like so low quality, maybe 13 or okay. 14, Got I guess. Yeah, I mean. What animals were they posing with? Dogs. So. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. That's nuts. Um, God, I do want to. So I want to give you like a olive branch. I mean, you've been very helpful and, you know, I'm going to take what you said and try to identify some of this shit. And, you know, obviously, how are you supposed to know the names of any of them? But well, what I guess- What can I do to help? Well, you, you have been helping. Like you're going to point, you point me in the right direction. Like Teleguard is a completely new app to me. And I didn't know, you know, it was like that. And Sessions, yeah, I've heard about it fleetingly, but I've never had any concrete proof that it was like, you know, these people do this shit on there and all yeah. that. Like. You know, obviously we know Instagram, Telegram, and so those are the basic ones. But I see, do, do you think people are kind of, uh, traders are flocking more off Telegram and onto the other shit? In my opinion, yeah, probably. Which one would you say they're congregating on the most? Um, that, I mean, I would say Telegard now is a Telegard? big one. Is yeah. there groups on there too, or? That I don't know. Okay. I've never been on a Telegard group. Okay. So I guess I don't know. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm sure there are. Yeah, yeah. There's groups everywhere. Well, I guess is there the ability to create a group on Telegard? I think there is. Okay. But my experience with it is so minimal, I guess I don't know. Yeah. To be honest. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, so do, do you think that help is something, if it was free, do you think help is something you would take to kind of start moving in the right direction, like Zoom Zoom calls or anything like that? I would take help. Do I need help? I'm stopping now. This is the end. Okay. I mean, honestly, this, this scares the shit out of me. Mm -hmm. I don't want any, my mom, I mean, my God, my mom would die. Yeah. 
Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I can't have her. I love her so much. For sure. She's all I have left. No dad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Okay. And I, no, I well, can't lose my mom. Okay. Well, how often do you kind of uh, stare into the, that abyss and indulge in like child porn? Because it, 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 it ain't, I don't do it. I mean, we're, we're past that point, but. In f what minimal time I have, uh -huh. I mean, which isn't a lot, I'm tired okay. most of the time. So if I'm laying around bored mm -hmm. and I can't fall asleep. You just kind of flip it on or something? I just kind of okay. flip it. Why, why do you think child is not like regular? Just because I got sucked into it. So once you just kind of started, you can't stop? kind of something like that okay yeah, it's that snowball effect we were talking about okay so so do, so do you think uh it's over now okay well that's well it i'm going to tell you it's not you can't just you can't just say it's over now it'd be over i mean it, you're going to take a step in the right direction it's not going to be easy you know that like you can't just you know if you're if you're you know six million feet down you can't just say oh i'm going to jump six million feet up you know you got to get to five million you know what i mean but um okay so so just straight up, is most of the watch at this point child, like at this stage in your life? Just honestly. Uh, it has been. Okay. Recently. Okay. It has been. What's been your uh, kind of preferred age range you look for? Does it not even matter? Or? I mean, you, I guess usually 13, 13, 15, 16. Okay. Something like that. And again, it's more like, it's more like, First of all, it's more like, I can't believe this is actually out there happening. Right, right. You know? So I'm kind of shocked by it. But then it's kind of like, well, this is also interesting. Yeah, yeah, hey, hey it's, a, it's, a, it's an emotion to have, it's normal, it's normal. I mean, you know, so, right. yeah. What, what do you think about it? Uh, what do you think is interesting to you about it? Like, I'm not judging, I'm just asking. Wow, those girls are young and mm -hmm. they're doing this stuff. And they're into it for some reason, like, mm -hmm. They're just into it, you know? What's the, uh, I mean, how often do you kind of, uh, how often do you kind of to it? Uh, I have, but no. not often. Not often? No. Okay. What's the youngest age you think you to? 13. I fantasized about Julie. Yeah. Okay. So you, you, know, you so 12, I guess. 12? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so kind of going back to the whole like the abyss can cause people to make irrational decisions yes sir um some of those irrational decisions uh for, first of all do, do you have a tablet or another phone or is it all just no. so okay so i'm not uh i, I don't want to you know give you any tips on how to do this stuff because that would be you know because we don't want you to do it anymore but doing it all on your all on one phone that you use for everything else is uh, a pretty irrational decision i'd say um so uh, I do, I do want to ask, do we save this on just your gallery? Is there a hidden folder or app? Because we've made some irrational decisions, obviously. Where, where does it get saved to? My phone, it's been saved in my phone. Okay. Am I being arrested? Um, that could have been somebody calling, but I'll just tell them that. Okay. Okay. Is it like, I mean, I won't tell them shit. Okay. Is it? Is it like on a hidden folder, just your gallery, or hidden folder? Okay. Is there a code for it? No. Okay. Where? How? If you had to guess, I'm willing to help you get rid of this. How How many pictures and videos are on the hidden folder? You think? Ten, probably. Ten. How low does it go? Uh, I can't tell you. The I mean, ten, maybe ten. eleven. Okay. So basically, you know, I'm not saying I'm going to take your phone, but if I were to have your phone, and I would. I'd basically think there's like 10 shit to delete off the hidden folder, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we're gonna, when he gets closer, we're gonna change the subject. Yeah, sure. Sure. All right, so uh, yeah, man, we're just, uh, we're just we're just here talking. Uh, okay. We're just talking about some issues that he's working through, but you're gonna delete the child off your phone, right? You're gonna get yeah. rid of the child. Okay, yeah. you only, I mean, it's not even hundreds. It's only like 10 photos in a hidden folder you gotta get rid of. Okay. Yeah. Just from like 10 and up, you think, age range? Yeah. Okay. Gonna meet a 12 year old again to do no. any kissing. This is your last time doing it? Yes. Okay. Basically, did you just tell me that you've been on the dark web watching child, kind of child, and have seen videos of babies, toddlers, and you came to meet a 12 year old girl for potentially stuff? Did you just tell me all that pretty much? Just be honest. No, no point in lying now. Well, 
Potentially, yeah, I guess. Okay, because I, yeah, I was mic'd up the whole time, by the way. So is this what you just told me? Like, yeah. okay. Okay. So it's, it's on its phone uh, right now. Okay. So these are the messages here. They're kind of out of order, but um, okay. so. Keep yeah. Um, so is what he's saying is true? Has he got child on your phone? I do. Okay. How much do you have on there? I mean, not a lot. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. more than 100, less no, than 100? No, wait. Okay. Is this something you just started doing or have you been doing it for a while or? Just kind of leaving me. Okay. So what age range? I'll have to come out. Can you bring me my, uh, my main phone? Bring me my main phone. Do you have an idea on you I can get from you? Yeah. Okay. Can I have all these? Oh yeah, okay. yeah, and we have more to send digitally as well. Okay. Do you have an ID on you by chance I can grab two? Yeah, can y'all give me my uh, ID? Oh, hey, do, dude, don't f your phone. What are you doing? All right, give me that for just a second. Sure. All right, I'm just gonna have you take a seat. Just sit on the porch there. I'll just grab your ID from you too. Right. You guys do this for like a YouTube or what do you do? Oh, I'm serious. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Both. Both. Are you, do you have one from Minnesota or is this where you're uh, We live in Houston, right? Texas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Just hang tight. Surprised it wasn't 33 images. <laughs> oh uh, you, you really owed him. You didn't vouch for him. Do something about it. <laughs> here, here, Papa. We're going to film this for Twitter. Just here, go. All right, here. We're just filming here, phone. All right, ready? All right, guys. We're here in uh, Stillwater, Minnesota. We just caught uh, Jason, some Scandinavian last name, and he a uh, huge child trader and came to meet a 12-year-old girl for submitted to me and the cop that he has child his phone. The phone is now seized, and we're going to ask him how he feels right now. Jason, you are also a Freemason, right? In the Blue Lodge? Um, well, so the cop just took your phone with child on it, you didn't have a chance to because I called it out, and he came here to meet a twelve-year-old girl. For how do you feel about what's happening to you right now? Okay. Are you gonna cry? Yeah. Okay. It's okay. Here, do you want to do you want to handshake my uh, forearm like a good mason? Okay. Well. Um, you can do some. Uh, you can do some traveling uh, to the to the lodge they call uh, Stillwater Jail. You're going to be a not so Freemason once I dump your phone. <laughs> All right, Freemasonry. Oh yeah, I know we just offended the shit out of uh, the base cops in North Carolina. <laughs> That's okay. You guys, you guys are the one exception. You guys, you guys are the good. You're the masons. you're yeah. the good masons. Just like I'm the good Jew. Like you guys are the good masons. <laughs> He's so cute. I, I told you he was a feminist.
just sent you a video. I just sent you a video of the first day. Right now? Do you have any on you that I need to know about it? Do you have any on you that I need to know about it? Don't have to go out here. Sure. Can you say you have any weapons on you? No. Good 30 seconds. Small left. You know how to get in here? I'm glad locals gets a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Are you gonna do an outro? Yeah. Hey guys, uh, uh, join locals in the pinned comment. It helps us travel all the way to Minnesota. Um, all right, guys, so kind of give me a rundown of how long this has been. Talk to the person, talk to him online. I was talking in person. Okay. Let me call her right now. How old is she? She's uh, 14. No, I'm just kidding. She's, uh, she's 24. She's my age. She poses a 12 year old. Oh, okay. Hello, this is Officer Funding from Oak Park Heights Police Department. Good. Can you kind of give me a rundown of what you got going on here? Uh, yes, I'm Steve Floyd. I'm talking to Jason. Okay. Uh, we met on Instagram. He sent me a message first. Okay. And, um, we went from there. He was aware that I was 12 years old. Okay. I'm not actually 12 years old. I'm 24. Gotcha. Um, and things got... He ended up sending some child like a video of a child and um, I reported it to the internet crimes and children's tip line. And we have the receipt of that printed out as well of us reporting it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Did he send you any photos of the sauce as well? All right. Yeah. So join locals in the pinned comment over 100 videos early and uncensored and tons of mug shots, conviction updates, live swings. Just a lot of shit on there, so go join up on there. It really helps us out. And uh, yeah, only ten dollars a month costs nothing to help the team that travels most. Catch six, forty-six states with an arrest, forty with conviction. If you want to support the predator poachers catching the sickest both near and far, go to the pinned comment. If you're on Rumble, press the red join button to see over thirty videos early and uncensored for only ten dollars a month. We can't do this without your help, so join our locals. 